What's up everybody? My name is Devin Laporte and today we are going over my 1969 Chevrolet Nova. Uh, this was actually purchased by my father back in 2002. He did the floor inside of it and a roll cage and then in 2006 it became my senior high school project car. So did a lot of work to it and I've uh, had it for many years so I found I just want to walk around her and we'll kind of show what we did to it. So let's dive in. This is a 1969 Chevy Nova. It has a 383 small block stroker engine in it. The paint was done by my uncle out of old school restorations in Carson City, Nevada. This was, uh, this was done actually back in 2007 was the actual paint job. So it is quite, quite old, but definitely still looking very fresh and clean it has some marbleizing in it to kind of move it around you can kind of see the sparkles in the marbleizing uh, afterwards we did have it pinstripe by Mark Mike Chartel just to kind of clean up the edges and make it pop out just a little bit more Definitely a nice color with the purple on the sides we have the purple and the green pinstripe to kind of accent it uh, initially when I got this car, when we started building it, I lived in Southern California and we actually lived on dirt roads. So I initially kind of had the idea of it being dirty a lot, so that's kind of why I went with the silver lower half instead of the full green. That way we can kind of kick up a little mud and it would kind of blend in a little better, wouldn't look as dirty. It is sitting on some 17 inch Riddler, uh, I believe they're 695s. Uh, not too bad these are disc brake in the front and we just have drums in the back uh, currently I am needing to upgrade my rear end the rear end that is in it currently is out of a 69 Camaro um, when we did the build we needed uh, just needed the new rear end so we just stuck this in here but it definitely needs to be upgraded uh, but problem I'm dealing with right now is I'd like to put disc brakes on it but if I add disc brakes it'll push my wheel out just a little bit more and uh, I can barely barely get a finger in there as it is so we're gonna have to do some more modifications when we go to disc brake in the back but it will be coming you can see it is sitting on some cal tracks uh, just kind of help get the power to the ground once I upgraded to the 383 stroker motor uh, it definitely was needed it had a lot more power One, two. Kind of do a little walk around. Pop the hood for you guys. Get a close look. So like I said, this is a 383 stroker motor. This is from Blueprint. It has aluminum heads on it. I don't have the sheet on me of all the engine specs on it, uh, but I do know on the dyno, on just straight engine, it made 400 horsepower and 450 torque. That was just straight engine not wheel power so we haven't had it on dyno before so we're not too sure of the numbers but pretty good healthy engine and here we got some tube some tube a arms do pretty well we actually got some line locks on it too this car has almost a full roll cage throughout the entire car we didn't do the side impact rails on my doors just to kind of make it still still usable and not so much of a hassle to drive it as a daily uh, but we did the roll cage and the floor just to kind of stiffen up everybody. Get everybody a little tighter. You can see we got the marbleizing also on the on the wheel wells in there. Okay. We'll move on over. We'll take a peek on the inside. So I said this car was basically a shell when we got it, so it was fully gutted. 
So we did new door panels to match the scheme of the car. It also has a full CT sound sound system. Um, I said I started building this car around 17, so initially I didn't have a lot of money to get this thing kind of going. So over the years I was able to add money at it, um, but I had a company called Audiotistics who did my sound system, and they did one hell of a job for me. Uh, you can see, I believe those are eights, and then we have tweeters on the side, and then we got the eight by nines in the back window. Okay, so we'll show you this dash. So this dash was custom built by my uncle, Dennis Peterson. Uh, we actually took this piece of aluminum and folded it to fit these gauges and cut it all in one piece. So it's all just one piece. He did a great job for me. Um, one of these custom gauges. These are autometer sport comp gauges. Quite nice. Now, this car has cutouts right here so you can see you got a little cutout switch we got our, our headlights and then our windshield wipers and then was even able to put the the AC heater control and the stereo and then those are my line locks right there pretty good setup the car currently doesn't have a heater or AC in it um, but it will be in the future so it's kind of all plumbed and ready for that we got a B&M floor shifter pretty nice and uh, also we can see down here we actually have power windows so I did I did want power windows when I got this I hate the having to reach over and roll down the windows and these things especially with these harnesses so power windows was the way we have some crow four-point harness seats you can see I don't have the roll bar going across the side right here do have the back supports with the harness bar so we got it for the seats nicely and you kind of see the the halo with the wink mirror so it's pretty good pretty good cage um, definitely it's gonna stiffen up the car a lot more Make it a little nicer we do did keep the original back seat and uh, front seats are from Summit Racing. They are leather seats. Uh, the back is actually pleather, but not too bad. Most of the time people don't ride back there if we just have any of the kids come. That's kind of the only time that'll happen. All right, we'll kind of move on, move on down. We'll pop the, pop the trunk real fast. You can see see that it's got the fuel cell in it sticking out the bottom along with the track bars and if you can kind of see got a little girl on my differential cover right there all right I'm gonna pop this open real real quick it's pretty clean in the trunk um, it's not a hundred percent done I would say in the trunk uh, we are missing carpet still uh, but it does have a fuel cell Hiding under those gray covers are my batteries. We converted everything to the back for the two batteries. And then the amps for the sound system. So it actually has a 12 inch sub box on the inside. We cut behind the passenger's back seat and uh, cut a little port through there. And that's actually where the 12 sits. So it sits blow through right into the cab of the car. So it's not actually in the trunk. It's actually in the cab with you, but hiding it all with the with my amps back here. Making it a little harder to steal if somebody ever tried was my initial thought why I did that. Pretty clean, we'll check out the, check out the exhaust dump. Dumps out right here, three inch exhaust. Howard Muffler did that in Southern California. Great guy, three inch all the way. Gives it that, that nice, nice throaty sound. You can see my girl with the, we got sway bars on it too to stiffen everybody up. And we inboarded the shocks also. Uh, currently the diff gear in it is actually only a 305 
I know, you would think with all the roll cage and all the fun stuff, you'd have better gearing in here, but I'm still dealing with the fact that I need a new rear end. So once I get a new rear end, then we can put all the different gears and all the better stuff on it, but just not yet. So a couple things to do. Let's see with that. Car's done. Car's done pretty well for being painted for so long. I haven't had too much issues going on. We do have a couple scratches on the driver's side, but not bad, man. Look at that paint. I just love that. I just love that sparkle. Initially, when this car was painted, uh, I initially just wanted it green and silver. And I said my uncle did the paint job on it, and he gave me the the surprise of the the tribal marbleized graphic going down the side. I definitely didn't have much money around 17, so for the little money we gave to him to do this car, he knocked it out of the park. So we never have something so nice without family. So big shout out to them. Oh, cool. This was just my uh, this is my first project car and kind of see we got a couple more we'll show you guys in the future but uh this was my this was my high school car this was what i initially I started on this was kind of gave me the itch to do car stuff and kind of started with it and uh i spent many years living at my parents house so i could uh afford a lot of this stuff but <laughs> now i'm up and older and it is one nice thing to have this, this car i'll never sell anything if i crash it one day the odds of that it'll turn into a drag car that's my that's my thought process if we crash it one day if something bad goes down we'll just kind of change its uh, purpose in life well, cool all right well i know i probably missed stuff on this car but uh if you guys have any questions or any kind of comments feel free to reach out and i'll do my best to answer everybody but just had to get on here and do a little showing off and show off the girl. Cool. Have a good one out there, guys.